Well, ladies and gentlemen, today we're back to our Nakshatra series. I know I kind of missed it last week due to some of the other, other videos I made. So uh, today we're going to be covering Saturn in the Nakshatra of Ashlesha. And what happens when Saturn sits in the Nakshatra of Ashlesha in your horoscope, which occurs in the sign of Cancer. And remember, Nakshatras are the constellation working behind the scenes of a zodiac sign. So if zodiac sign is a bed of a truck, the wheels are the nakshatras. And if you obviously do not know, if you have this uh, Saturn in this nakshatra, what planets are in other nakshatras, all your astrological details. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology Conjunction Aspects, and Mahadashas at the Speed of Light, including all my consultations and reading at this link. So. Saturn in Ashalesha Nakshatra. See, Ashalesha is a nakshatra which symbolizes by two serpents wrapped around a pole, which is pretty much the symbolism that you see in the medical field. Anytime they talk about the medical field in news or in anywhere in magazine, you'll see the symbol. It's like a worldwide symbol and it derived from the Ashalesha Nakshatra. And this is a nakshatra that shows that the, the serpents are extracting the poison out to get the poison out, meaning that when you're sick, your body is polluted. It has poison in it. You pull that poison out to make yourself better. And sometimes you need poison to cure something. Like you'll see people actually, uh, I think even Sadhguru does this, injecting cobra poison in your body. Like you do start from little, 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 and then you go on on, and then the very first time you feel dizzy and all that, and next thing you know, you're just used to it. Your health is great. You, you never get any kind of a health problem, but some people do that. I mean, they, and if they get bitten by cobra, they can survive because their body's already acclimated to the poison. So especially like people I know, I was watching this one uh, channel, I don't know, was it an NGO or something, where they uh, collect black mambas, okay? They collect black mambas, the deadliest snake. So what some people do, they actually inject the poison or black mamba within themselves. So that's what Ashlesha Nakshatra is all about. Dealing with poison that can kill you and heal you. And Ashlesha is the Nakshatra of the Nagas, the serpents. And these serpents mythically were the most mystical serpents. That they had all the mystical, tantric, occultic energy within them. Brahma awarded them the dark world. The underworld. What is the underworld? All the things that you hear about, the Illuminati and, you know, this and that occult and these type of mystical practices and supernatural practices, witchcraft. They were all, are all controlled by Naga. Now you are putting Saturn here. Saturn is actually known as the planet of the dark world. Why? Because it's far this planet from the eye. Farthest, one of the farthest planets from the sun. It's cold. It's dark. And Saturn represents that mystical energy. Why? Observational astrology. If you guys are into astrology, please buy a telescope. You got to have a telescope. I have my telescope. Where? Oh, down there. No, not that telescope. It's a real telescope, okay? I can pick it up for you guys. Actually, I'm sorry. It's right there. That's one of the parts for it. Look. Okay, I'll show you. Look, here, what? See? This telescope I'm talking about. Right there. The, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's, uh, tripod is down there. But yeah, you need this, man. Like from here, especially I got this special one. This helps uh, magnetize the effects of the planet. So my window is right there. It sits right there sometimes because I can see the clear sky from my basement because it looks up directly. So I see planets and you got to do the same because Saturn, when you look in the sky, is the most mystical planet. I mean, you can see Jupiter's, you can see Mars, anything. But when you see Saturn, with that special ring and then the internal space of the ring 
and you just see it go through. Oh my God, it's the most amazing thing. I saw it in Sedona for the first time. I took my telescope back in 2013 when my wife was pregnant with our first daughter and I was just outside our hotel, clear night, warm. We went during like spring and just enjoying my night. So Saturn being in this nakshatra, naturally and especially you'll notice this if your Saturn is the ascendant lord, the Atmakarka, meaning planet with the highest degree. And Saturn is especially your 10th Lord, Karma Lord. So this Saturn will naturally make a person attracted towards the underworld, occult, mysticism, astrology, numerology, tarot, and they naturally have the ability to grasp the knowledge on them with their own effort. Because Saturn is effort. And they perform their action to learn these things. They're, they become extremely passionate about these things. But you also have to know Saturn is a natural malefic planet. They can misuse this knowledge. They can misuse this knowledge for their self, for their advantage. Here Saturn or any planet always looks out for themselves first. Always. Because it's that energy of the snake. Snake needs to eat first before it feeds its own children. Otherwise it'll eat its own children. Own kids. They do that. I've seen that like so many times where if the snake is so hungry it'll just eat its own youngs. So they, were, they always look out for themselves. But because of the fact Saturn rules actually the third and four, I mean second and third padha of this nakshatra because each nakshatra has four padhas. Saturn actually can become a great medicine man in this. Saturn does very well in helping other people take their poison out. But Saturn needs to be guided by other planets. Saturn has to be guided by Jupiter. Saturn has to have, you know, uh, the positive effect, especially of Venus even. Because Saturn is a natural malefic planet. It'll bring this harsh reality. And these people are extremely practical because Saturn is all about practicality. So they use their mystical energy and power in a practical use. And Saturn also represents not only your action, but your servants, people who work for you. If you have this, See if your servant, people who come and work for you, people, even if you, let's say, have a company and you have people, hired people, as a Lashlesha Saturn for you, you will probably have one of your employees into occult mysticism tantra. Saturn here, especially, can take away the emotions away from home, home life. Like especially if it's in the four thousand cancer shows that the mother may not have given you the emotion that you deserved that you needed, and if there's malefic impact on Saturn, the mother can t you know be that poison in your life. You feel like your mother has been that one person who stopped your progress, who has kind of like paralyzed you. It's it happens, you know. You just have to see how exactly Saturn is placed in the Vamsha chart. You have to see the aspect and the impact upon Saturn. I've actually had Saturn with Rahu in the sign of Cancer, Nakshatra of Ashlesha, where the mother was just, according to them, I'm not saying I've witnessed them, but according to them, the mother was just very, very malevolent energy in their life. So you got to look at these things in a very fine-tuned grain of salt, like how the moon is placed, fourth lord is placed, how is Saturn in the Navamsha to really say, yes, it was the poison of the mother that block and caused that unhappiness within the home. Because this is a nakshatra that really just cannot handle people attack attacking them. Like they cannot handle criticism. And Saturn is a planet that is all about critiquing things. But when they get criticized, that Naga comes out. 
And Saturn especially represents the actions that we put out in the world. So naturally, these people are all about healing people. Because remember, this, there's also a positive, positive spiritual, you know, mystical energy about this. So these people can use their ability to take poison out to help people, to nourish people. Because especially it's happening in the domain of cancer. You feel like it's your duty to help others. You feel like it's your duty to save others. And because, and the reason why it becomes your actions to do it, because remember, we always are forced to do things with a sign which is fourth from Saturn. So if Saturn is in Cancer, fourth from Saturn will become the sign of Libra. Meaning that you're going to have to be in relationship with other people. You're going to have to meet other people who are sick, who are suffering, so you can go out and perform that duty and be kind of forced to perform that duty to help other and heal other people. But again, that Saturn being that malefic planet, especially in the Ascendant, can show there's a lot of bile in the person that there's this tremendous jealousy that comes out, envy that comes out with the Shlesha Nakshatra. They may not be able to handle the success of others around them. Because Saturn does not know how to deal with emotions. And here's Saturn sitting in the sign of emotions. But especially if you're trying to learn occultic knowledge, like astrology or going into tarot, you know, going into especially Ayurveda, like Ayurveda is symbolized with Ashlesha. The healing property of Ayurveda and the healing property of Ashlesha. This is an excellent position for Saturn to be in for those things. Like you will put your work, you will put your effort, you will put your heart into learning the mystical side of life. This can also show interest in pharmaceuticals. This can show interest in uh, biomechanical bio or biomedical fields. Especially if you have the aspect of Jupiter upon Saturn, biomedical field will greatly interest you. Okay. But Ashlesha is that nakshatra, you know, where these people cannot handle attack on themselves. They cannot handle criticism upon themselves. They cannot handle everybody pointing to themselves because then they will, the, the serpent will come out and try to get everybody that they can. Okay. So guys, this is my analysis of Saturn and the sign of Cancer and Nakshatra of Ashlesha. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your Saturn is placed, what sign it's in, all my books, reports, consultations, and reading for that, click here. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.